Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is a tutorial on this eye makeup I'm wearing. It's actually a full face tutorial, but um, the reason I wanted to do this video is because I wanted to use the Soiree Diaries eyeshadow palette by Pure Cosmetics. Anyway, this palette is gorgeous. I hope you guys can see it because I know the lights can be like all up in the grill. But anyway, this is a beautiful palette. Not, not only is it cute on the outside, but it's gorgeous on the inside. Shade selection, I mean, it's beautiful. Like I love every one of these eyeshadows. They're super soft and creamy and the matte ones blend so nicely they all blend really nicely so i really really like this palette so i wanted to do a tutorial using it um and like i said it is a full face makeup tutorial so if you want to see then obviously you have to keep watching um please make sure you are subscribed to my channel follow my other social medias and watch my previous videos and with that said uh let's get started the first eyeshadow i'm going to use from this palette is the one named splurge which is this one right here and the brush I'm using is a Morphe M504 blending brush. I'm going to be placing Splurge on my um, crease. This is going to be my transition shade. So I'm going to go from outer to inner corner, small circular motions. You guys already know the drill. And I'm holding the brush from the outside. And I'm, right now I'm placing it. So in a little bit, I'm going to turn the brush up just to blend out the crease. I'm going to put most of the eyeshadow on the outer um, crease instead. I'm, I'm, I will be bringing it in, but most of the eyeshadow is going to be placed on the outer portion of my eye. The next eyeshadow I'm using is Snazzy, which is this one right here. Um, this eyeshadow is a brown with a plum undertone it has kind of a purpley undertone in it um, the brush i'm using is a morphe m412 brush i'm going to be placing this into my crease and i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to start from outer to the center of my eye this one i'm not going to bring it all the way in i'm just going to place it here and i'm just making small circular motions and i'm just going to keep tapping it and blending it out softly most of this eyeshadow I do want it on my outer V and on half of my lid I'm just gonna bring it in a little bit so I'm gonna blend out with the brush up I'm also holding it on the outer edge of the, um, the brush I'm holding the brush on the outer end I'm not holding it from the inside And I don't know if you guys know the reason I do this is because when you're blending and you're holding the brush on the outer end of the um, stick, it blends out softly and I just like the, the way it looks better. I mean, when I want to deposit more uh, eyeshadow and I'm blending, but I want more eyeshadow deposited in whatever area I'm in, then I'll go in and it'll just move it, but it's... It's more concentrated, so it'll be darker in here, and I don't want it so dark, at least not with this shade. So this is why I hold it from the back. I hope I'm making sense. <laughs> I think I'm making sense. All right, I always flick out the brush because I just like that look that it gives me. Um... If you want, you can use tape. I normally don't use tape because I do like to connect my bottom lash line to my eyeshadows on the top. And I don't always round it out, but I do like to stay, you know, everything to stay connected instead of this really hard cut. Every once in a while, I do do that cut, but for the most part, this is the way I go. Just adding a little bit more in here and like I said I'm, I'm bringing this eyeshadow like towards the center of my eye but I'm just applying it very lightly and blending it as I go so 
So before I continue, I always like to blend as I go. So I'm going to go back to that Morphe 504 brush and a little bit of splurge. And I'm just going to blend out that crease. So for my next eyeshadow, I'm using Epic, which is this brown over here. This one is more of a cool tone brown as the other one, Snazzy, the one I just um, applied. That one is a really warm brown. Um, I'm going to be using an e.l.f. brush. It doesn't have a number. It just says e.l.f. contour brush and because it's small. And now I'm going to apply this on my outer V. And I just want to keep it on the outer V and as I'm applying it, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just packing it on out here and then I'll go into small circular motions and move the eyeshadow around as to where I want to place it. It's just easier when you use a smaller brush, it's just a lot easier to apply. And if it ha it's pretty dense and if you know, it has the bristles do move around. So you can blend as you apply. It's just not going to, you know, you're not going to have the, the blown out look. It's going to apply the eyeshadow and it's going to keep it where it is, where you want it. But at the same time, you'll be blending. If you want to blend out more, then obviously you need a fluffier brush with longer bristles. But I want to keep this eyeshadow epic on the outer V of my eye, so doing the same thing. I flick it out a little bit, and this one I'm not gonna bring it in as far as I brought Snazzy. So, okay, Snazzy, if you can tell, comes like up to here, and Epic right now is like around here, and that's where I'm gonna keep it. All right, now I'm going to go back to that Morphe M412 brush, which is the one I use Snazzy with. No extra eyeshadow. I'm just blending out. And here I'm just going to blend both of the eyeshadows together. The next eyeshadow I'm using is Cosmo, which is this one right here. I'm going to be applying this on my mobile lid and I'm going to be using a BH Cosmetics flat shader brush, which looks like this. And I'm going to be applying Cosmo, like I said, on my mobile lid, but I'm going to apply it on the center of my mobile lid, which is right here. It's connecting into snazzy and a little bit in to the inner corner, but I'm going to leave this portion open for another eyeshadow. I'm going to bring this all the way up to my crease. What do you want? Can you stop moving around because you're making too much noise? All right, back to this. I'm going to apply a little bit more of Cosmo. These eyeshadows are so soft and so creamy. Very, very pretty. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm going to bring it up to the crease and onto the center of my eye. And that looks good. Now I'm going to flip the brush and I'm going to take the eyeshadow named Twinkle, which is this one over here. And I'm going to apply Twinkle on the inner portion of my eye. And I'm going to be connecting it to Cosmo. Cosmo, right? Yes. <laughs> and I'm going to bring it to the crease as well. That looks good. Iggy, what are you doing? This dog, come here. Come here. Because you're making so much noise. And now you're going to be a part of this so everybody can see who's making all this noise. All right, he's very awkward to pick up. So here, he's the one making all that noise and walking around and flapping his ears and his tail and all that. He was a bad boy this morning. That's why he's a little, a little shy right now. Huh, Iggy? You were a bad dog? Hmm? Yes, you were. I know you're sorry. But you're always sorry. All right, let's continue. 
Since I brought up the eyeshadows all the way up to my crease, I'm going to go back to the Morphe M504 brush with no extra product. And I'm going to start blending out the crease to make sure all these eyeshadows look nice, smooth, and seamless. And I'm holding the brush upwards again because I want the eyeshadow. When I do this, the eyeshadow stays where I placed it. But since all the bristles are fluffier on this side of the brush, that blends everything on the top out, but it keeps the lower eyeshadows in place. So this is the point of this technique. I'm sure you guys know that. You know that, right? If you didn't, then now you do. For the brow bone highlights, I'm going to be using Private Party, which is this shade right here. And I'm going to be using the Ofra 03 brush. I'm just going to dip it into Private Party. I'm going to apply it right on my brow bone for a highlight. Just to lift that brow up. Because everything else is kind of smoky and dark. And I do want to lighten this portion up. A little bit of Private Party fell on my the rest of my eye, the other eyeshadows. If I think you can see that. So, and that's easy. I'm just going to go back to that Morphe M504 and just dust it off. That's it. I got to blend this out anyway. So, not a big deal. That's it. So for the wing, I'm going to be using the NYC Liquid Eyeliner. So we're just going to do a nice little wing. So I'm just going to flick it out. Check and make sure that it's even with the other eye. I'm going to connect it to the corner of my eye. Again, making sure they look at least similar to each other. And then I'm just going to start tight lining above the lashes. And I like to keep it pretty thin on the inside and then just got, go a little bit thicker as I go towards the outside. But for my eye shape, I can't go too thick on the outside because when I open my eye, I do get a crease and the crease ends all the way at the corner of my eye. So if I do it too thick, the, um, the wing looks crooked, if that makes any sense. It like cuts into it so it looks like it goes down and then it goes back up. It just doesn't look good. So I have to play around with <laughs> the tail of my wing and make sure that... It doesn't cut off like that because it looks bad. It looks bad in my opinion. I just don't like it. Okay, so that looks pretty even. I'm happy. So let's move on and do the rest of my face. Actually, before I move on, I'm going to tight line with this black waterproof eyeliner. This is by She Makeup. And like I said, it's a waterproof eyeliner and it's in black. So I'm going to tight line the upper waterline as well as my lower waterline for the lashes i'm using the smashbox full exposure mascara it has a really big wand so be careful we're gonna place a little bit of mascara on eventually i'll apply some lashes but i'm gonna do that towards the end usually when i do mascara i like to um, push the brush in to make sure all the lashes get coated i also like to apply it on the top of the lashes and then i bring them back out And I could have curled them if I wanted to, but my lashes are pretty curled to begin with. So I don't always curl them. Every once in a while, if I want to be like super extra curled and my eyes to look like super open, then yes, I do curl them. But normally I don't, so I did it this time. 
my face is already moisturized i use the dr hashka melissa um, day cream and i'm going to use the smashbox photo finish primer to prime my face so i'm just gonna prime my t-zone area i'm just gonna let that settle in for a little bit the foundation i'm gonna use i think i'm gonna use the um, one in wild photo focus foundation to blend it out with a beauty blender So I want to contour a little bit, so I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This one is in Desert Beige, which is the darkest shade that I can use. And I'm just going to place a little bit right here and here. And a little bit up here. Oh, look at all my hair. And a little bit around my jawline just to pretend that I have a you know, nice cut jaw, because I sure don't. But anyway, let's just blend this out and say that I do. Okay, so for concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape, and this one is in the shade Medium. I'm just going to apply a little bit in this inner corner. Down here and here. And I'm going to blend it out with my finger. And then I'm going to blend it out with the Beauty Blender. At the under eye area, I'm using the Bare Minerals Invisible Light in the shade Matte, which is the white one, and it's matte. And I'm using an e.l.f. blush brush for this application. And I've already said why I use this light setting powder when I use the um, Tarte Shape Tape, because the Tarte Shape Tape is pretty thick and... Sometimes I just don't even set it at all, but today I decided to set it. Um, and you know what? What the heck? I'm going to go into the glow section as well. Oh my God, look at the mess that I have on my... <laughs> Never mind. Um, I'm going to use the glow piece of it, and I'm going to flip the brush, and I'm just going to glow it up just right here. Okay, so let's smoke up the lower lash line. I'm going to go into Snazzy and Epic. And I'm also going to go into Splurge, which is over here. So Snazzy, Epic, and Splurge. I'm going to start with Epic. And I'm going to go into Snazzy and Splurge at the end. So I'm going to be using, what is this? A Sigma E40 pencil brush. I'm going to go, like I said, into Epic. And I'm just going to put this really close to my lower lash line. And I'm going to bring it in three quarters of the way. So the next brush I'm using is the Makeup Geek Pointed Crease Brush. And I'm going to go into Snazzy. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to use this. This is an e.l.f. blending brush. And I'm going to go into Splurge. And I'm going to buff everything under my lower lash line. For blush, I'm going to be using this City Color B Matte Blush in Papaya.
like you already know i like to place it on the back of my cheeks and go all the way up to my hairline let's bring it in a little bit over here the same thing on this side And for bronzer, I'm using this Shimmer Bronzing Powder from Model Co. And a fluffy BH Cosmetics blush brush. And I'm just going to do the three that I always do. For my highlights, I'm using Prosecco Pop by Becca, which is a collaboration with Jaclyn Hill. Uh, I'm going to be using this, I think it's O oh Susan, O oh So Susan. I can't read the name, it faded, but it's a fan brush. I'm just going to place this on the top of my cheekbones. A little bit over my brows. On the bridge of my nose and cupid bow. Mm, look how pretty that is. For my inner tear duct highlight, I'm also going to use Prosecco Pop. Let me just find a brush here. I'm using a pointed crease brush. I'm just going to add it in to the corner of my eye. So on the lips, I'm going to be using this Ajante Blue in Brown Sugar. It's a lip liner. I'm just going to line my lips this shade. And to fill in the lips, I'm going to be using this ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Strut. So this is the final look, you guys. I did apply some falsies. I used the Pure Pro Eyelashes. They're 3D Cruelty Free Luxe Lashes. These are in the style Diva. They're so stinking pretty. I love them. Um, so this is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I am loving and loving everything about this look. I wish I could keep it on for the rest of the day. But unfortunately, it's only 1230 right now and I have so much to do. I am going out tonight, but that's like later in the afternoon and I don't want to keep this makeup on that long. I'm going to redo my makeup later on. I don't know. I think I want to do this again because I'm loving it. It's so pretty. I'm only going to the movie, so I may not even do anything. But... <laughs> go start cooking and i'm gonna keep this makeup on i'm gonna take more photos and i'm going to just you know feel myself for a while before i wipe everything off and yeah so that's it you guys i hope you don't think i'm uh crazy for all i just said but you know you know when you're feeling yourself you're feeling yourself so anyways thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already follow my other social media i feel like such a fool um, and watch my previous videos. Until next time, my loves. Mwah. Hugs and kisses. Bye.